Hey YouTube, this is me here uh, doing a little review on the Bar Rock HW97 Blue Laminate 22 Cal Under Lever. Here's the Under Lever back here. That's how you uh, load it. For those of you who don't know, and I'll demonstrate that later as I get to the talking about it anyway. The barrel on this thing, the actual barrel, is 11.8 inches. And it goes from here to about right there. Yeah. And there, this is supposed to be a silencer type of thing, but it isn't. It, work, it could work as a air stripper, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, the, the overall length of this rifle is... Uh, 40.25 inches. It's not very long. It's short. And the weight of it is 9.3 pounds. Now that, it is a little heavy without the scope even, or the mount. And, uh, but they're very, these rifles, my rock, are very well made. They're, it's like a tank. I mean, this thing will last you forever. It, it, even if you don't take care of it that good, I mean, they just last they're very solidly made. Uh, the only thing you'd have to do is change the, the piston seal inside. And, uh, oh, that little seal in here in the compression tube. Anyway, the power plant, it's a spring piston. The velocity on this is rated at 755 or 22 cal. So... It's not real super powerful. The trigger, the trigger is the uh, famous record trigger. You hear about these, these triggers as being the best. Yeah, they're pretty, it, it is pretty dang nice. And to adjust it, it's a two-stage adjustable trigger with this here right there, that bolt. That's how you adjust the trigger. And like I said, man, this thing, is, you can adjust it all the way to uh, one pound or less even. And uh, iron sights or sights, no sights. It comes with nothing. So you got to scope it. Uh, the butt pad is soft rubber. And there you go. That's what it... Yeah, it's soft rubber. So, anyway, oh, I did want to say something about the pellet port. This is this is uh, really good because there's some guys that, that shoot their rifles and they have huge hands. And, and most of the rifles will have this, this port, pellet port thing, only this much, this much here. And this is closed right here. Well, look at this one all the way open on both sides so lefty or righty easy to load and uh, how you open the, the latch is you press this little trigger here and then you just load it put the pellet right in there okay. but yeah um It cocks really smooth too. It's this rifle is all the Virocs are smooth, but this under these under levers, there's two of them, which is this one, the 97K. Oh, they make other ones. They have a normal woodstock, a brown one. This is the laminate, the blue laminate, and the 97. They have the 97KT, which is a uh, thumb hole, and it's black synthetic. And they have a thumb hole woodstock. Now, that one's beautiful also. So in the 97. So yeah, um, the cock is really smooth. The it doesn't it doesn't have a, a bear claw on it to stop like some rifles when you load it to prevent it from coming back that 
the lever from coming back and catching your fingers in there loading up. But uh, it's it's a lot of people like it because you load it, you do the lever, no noise, put the pellet, and then cock it back with no noise. It's a good hunting action there. That's why people like it. So yeah, let me see what else I can remember. It's got a real nice shooting cycle. It it feels like it's tuned, but if you tune it, it's even smoother. And depending on who tunes it, there's some guys out there that can really do a number, real leave them really nice. And it loud, how loud is it? This thing is low to medium low. Yeah, on a scale from one to seven, I would say it, it, it is around four. So it isn't very loud. It's kind of neighbor friendly. Oh, and I was gonna say one more thing. This thing um, is built for a moderator upgrade. So it's a silencer moderator. See this right here, right at the front here. Try to get the front of this. See that right there? How it's got like, uh, so you can put a Allen wrench in there and you back that out and this little cap f comes out right here and you screw it in there and that's so that you can screw it in there. I don't have one, I've never done it. This is my boy's rifle, by the way, it's not mine, but I'm reviewing it, so to share it. And uh, the scope it's got is the uh, Vantage 4 by 12 by 50 Hawk. As you can tell, these Hawk scopes are nice. And it's an AO adjustable objective. Okay. And uh, it's got the bullseye, Diana bullseye mount. That's for the recoil, even though it doesn't need it, because this thing doesn't doesn't buck or, or kick that hard. But if these things are new, if you have a like a magnum and it's blasting your scopes, ruining your scopes, put this thing on, it'll make them last longer. Anyway, when you when it goes back, it works really good. So uh let me see. So yeah, we're gonna go. If not this weekend, next weekend, this rifle we're gonna attempt to do 100 to 120 uh, long shot, shoot a, a golf ball, an air air um, air gun golf ball, and blast it out. So, um, and oh, I have one more thing to share here. Instead of this bullseye, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use this guy right here. The West Hunter uh, scope rings, and I'll tell you why. So the long, see how this 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 here is adjustable. There's a screw right there, right here. You back it out. You got to take it completely off, and this will come off this way, and then you put it in as high as you want it. So this guy will, the, the one that's uh, right, raised will actually go in the back, right there, and this one in the front. So it'll tilt the scope downward, which will give you a, you know, it, it'll give you better leverage to shoot. Anyway, so, yeah. The scope, the scope rings are really, Really cool. Let's see how they work out. We'll let you guys know how they work out. And the pellets we're going to use the Crossman uh, Dome because they shoot pretty good. I they I've had ex a pretty good experience with those. The Crossman Dome. Let me see. Did I forget anything? Let's show you the rifle a little more. See the things that it has on it. Let me put these away. And it comes with, it's, you know, it's, it has the 97K right there. 
engraved in my hair. It's 22. With a cool little pellet. <laughs> There's a serial number. And that's about it. Um, what else is there to tell you about it? I guess that's it. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. I'll we'll have to see how the shooting goes, the long range shooting. Have a great day or evening or morning. Thank you.